In this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix Lord of the Rings Return the King for the PC. This video is for educational purposes only. There are two fixes you're going to be using in order to fix up this game. For the resolution and aspect ratio side of the fix you're going to be using Nemesis 2000's fix. And then for frame rate, frame rate counter, window mode and also field of view you're going to be using the fix created by myself and Chip from Fix Enhancers. So to start this off installing Lord of the Rings to Return the King PC port. There are two versions of the PC port. There is the CD-ROM version which came with three discs and there is also the DVD version that came with two discs. So in order to install those you simply need to get yourself a disk drive and install the game via the discs in the order that they specify. So for the CD-ROM version there will be two discs that will be called install disk 1 and install disk 2 and then the third one is called the play disc. And then in the case of the DVD one there will just be one install disc and then one play disc. You can install the game with no issues whatsoever currently on Windows 10 and Windows 11 however once you've installed the full game you will not be able to play the game via the disc anyway anymore due to the fact that it incorporates a DRM known as safe disc that is no longer supported and functional on modern day windows. For this reason you will need to find a no CD crack version of the game which removes the DRM from the EXE file. Due to legal reasons I cannot provide you with this. You also need this no CD crack anyway for our fix to be able to function on the game. Something I need to quickly go over before we get into the fix is relating to our fixes going forwards. So some browsers and antivirus softwares might potentially flag up our fixes. Now to explain in an English way why this might happen, this is due to the fact that our fixes use something called hooks. What we do is we hook inside of the exe files for the games and then we can change the code inside of them. This is effectively how we're able to change the code inside of the exe file which then works inside of our dol file to allow you to use custom settings within the game. Of course the normal average user is not supposed to be using hooks within windows and this is why some antivirus softwares and browsers can get a little touchy about this. There is nothing actually wrong with any of these fixes, these are all just false flags. So we're now going to go and download the fix files required. We're going to start off with Nemesis 2000's resolution and aspect ratio fix. You head down into the description and the pinned comment, you'll find a link that will take you to this website here. This is where you can find all of Nemesis's fixes. And the one that you specifically want to find and use is Lord of the Rings Return the King. All you have to do is simply come here and click download on that and then let that download on to your PC somewhere. Also bear in mind that you will need to use a password when trying to extract the file contents from inside of this fix and the password is LOTR in lowercase. And then the second fix you're going to need is the fix from myself and Chip, the fix enhancers fix. Come down into the description in the pinned comment to the second link you'll find a link to this website here which is our github where we host all of our fixes and it'll take you to this page where you can read up about our fix in more detail so you can see all the instructions etc. In order to access the actual fix and download it you need to come over to where it says releases here and click this it will then take you to this page here which is where you can find the actual fix itself and download it simply come down to the bottom here where you've got this little zip file here and click that and download it onto your pc somewhere so once you downloaded both of the fixes locate where you save them to on your pc and make sure you extract the contents from them again make sure with the nemesis fix when you extract the contents from it you use the password lotr in lowercase in this case I've extracted both fix contents here onto my desktop as you can see with these two folders here in order to make this easier for you. So on the left I've got Nemesis's fix for resolution and then on the right I've got our fix enhancers fix for FPS and all the other stuff. I'm going to go through each fix individually one at a time to try and make this as simple as possible for you all. We'll start off with the Nemesis 2000 fix. So what you'll find with the Nemesis 2000 fix is you'll have these three files included here. You also want to go and find where you've installed Lord of the Rings Return the King. So wherever you put that on your PC and open up to its directory. And then with the Nemesis fix content, you simply want to drag and drop these two files here inside of the install area for Lord of the Rings Return of the King. So you can either do a control C and control V or you can just drag and drop. To make it absolutely clear right now, you do not want to take the D3D8 DOL file from Nemesis fix at all. Ignore this file, you do not want it, it will conflict with our fix. Now that you put those two files in there, we'll now do the fix enhancers fix. So these are the three files that you should have inside of your fix enhancers fix. The readme file is just giving you instructions on what to do in order to use the fix. Read that if you wish. The two files that you need to focus on are these two just here. So all you have to do is either do control C and control V into the Lord of the Rings Return the King install area or simply just drag and drop. So now that you have all the fix files inside of your Lord of the Rings Return the King install directory, we're going to go through them again each individually one by one to make it as simple as 
possible for you all. To start off with, we'll do Nemesis is fixed. So you'll need to find the LOTR INI file, which is just here, and open it up. Once you've opened that up, you'll see it's a very basic INI file with just your width and your height in there. Simply put in here your width and your height. So this is your resolution. I like to add that this will automatically calculate your aspect ratio depending on your resolution. So in my case, I play at 4K, so I've put 3840 by 2160. Once you put in the resolution you want to use, you can either press Control S on your keyboard or simply come up to the top here, click File, and then Save. Now we're going to edit the settings for the Fix Enhancers fix. So you need to go and find the D3D8 INI file and just open that up. So once you've got that opened up, you'll see all these options inside of here. I'm going to go through each one individually for you now. So the first one is the FPS limit, the game's frame rate. We've limit the frame rate up to 240 because if you go above this, then it breaks the game in multiple areas. I personally like to play at 120 frames on games, so I've put that as 120. Next option, FPS limit mode. You can either choose a one or a two here. In the case of this game, I recommend you just leave this at two as it's more stable. Next option, display FPS counter. So if you want to put an FPS counter in the top left hand corner of your screen to see what your frame rate is at all times, then you can just activate this by changing this zero to a one. If you do not wish to use that, just keep it on a zero. Force window mode. So what this will do is it will allow you to play the game in a window mode format instead of playing in full screen all the time. So if you wish to play in window mode, simply change that zero to a one. This next option, which is direct 3D8, disable maximize window mode. This fixes a lot of serious issues with Windows 10 and 11 on DirectX 8 games, where it has a lot of issues trying to run in full screen mode. If you are using the window mode option and you're trying to play the game in window mode, make sure you change this one to a zero. So if you're playing in window mode, change that one to a zero. If you're playing in full screen, change that to a one. Next option, FOV, which is field of view. I will be going over this in more depth a little later on in the video, just to explain what is wrong with field of view so that you guys have a bit more of an understanding of what's going on there. We've done pretty much everything we can to try and give you guys the best field of view possible. It is extremely difficult to do anything with field of view in this game. It is very covered up and hard to edit anything related to field of view. But as it currently stands, it is usable. It does work. It's just going to be a bit of a pain in certain areas. So in the case of this option, if you don't want to deal with any broken problems, such as a menu being slightly sideways in the level selection area, then I recommend you keep the field of view set to zero so then it will play at the default field of view the game already had. So if you wish to play at a higher field of view in gameplay, then you simply just have to change this zero to a one. And then the final options here, you've got the force windowed option. So if you chose to use window mode for the fix, then you can simply just change these options down here to whatever you wish to use for your window mode. Of course, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to decide what you want to do with your window mode. Once you put in all the settings you want to use inside of here, you can either press control S on your keyboard or simply come up to the top here and click file and then save. Now that you've edited all the settings you need to edit, you can now launch the game and you should be able to play the game with all the improvements. Another note I want to add here regarding controllers with this game. This game is extremely broken now when it comes to newer Xbox controllers. When I say newer, I mean Xbox One Beyond controllers. If you try to use any of these type of controllers with this game, you will most likely be met with a hard crash. The other problem you can have with this game, which applies to any controller across the board here, is that you won't be able to configure triggers normally with the game. However, there is currently a side option that you can use for the time being. However, there may be more done with this in the future and possibly looked into, but I'm not making any promises on that. I'm just saying it could happen. For the time being, though, you do have a workaround. So you will need to go down into the description as well as the pinned comment where you can find two links. The first link will take you to this website here, and the second link will take you to this website here, which is a GitHub. To start with this website here, you'll come to this area here, which is the latest release of this software, which will have all these files in here. All you need to do is simply download these files. And then the other thing you'll need to do is come to this GitHub here and download the latest release of this EXE here, just there. Once you download that, as well as the other files I just mentioned earlier, you'll then be able to run this mini program, which will then allow you to effectively emulate your controller that you're using with the game. I like to add that this is usable on all of the different controller types that are major that everyone uses. So that's all the Xbox controllers as well as PlayStation, etc. So if you're one of those people that wants to play with a controller, I recommend trying this out. The two major bugs that I'm aware of when it comes to field of view that I personally notice are the level selection menu. So basically what happens is when you go on the level selection, it will basically 
basically be kind of sideways now instead of being faced on. We do appreciate that it's not ideal and it's definitely one of the more annoying bugs to go with field of view. And then the other bug that I'm aware of is the fire cauldrons. So these are basically the spear fire cauldrons that I'm referring to here. In certain levels you are able to walk up to these mini fire cauldrons with spears in them, pick up a spear and throw it at an enemy. Normally these spears are actually sitting inside of the fire cauldron, however with the field of view fix these spears are now outside of the fire cauldron. I like to add that these are still completely usable and work exactly as they should do normally within games, so you're still able to pick them up and throw them at enemies without any problems. And then finally the fix enhancers website. So this is the website that we create in order to basically have a little home effectively for everything that we ever do under fix enhancers. I'll have a link to it of course down in the description as well as the pinned comment. If you want to find a fix in particular so what you can do is you can come up here to PC fixes and then in the contents table you can find the fix that you want to look for. So in this case we'll say Lord the Rings Return the King so we simply click that and then it will take us down to the actual fix itself here. So you can see here you've got an actual in-depth description effectively of what is included with our fix specifically here. And then of course as our fix here is working with another fix which is Nemesis's fix. We have a link to his fix down here as well as well as our fix just there. And of course you've got a little slideshow here of all the different comparisons effectively showing what each bit looks like with the fix and without the fix. And that's all there is to this video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you get stuck or need any help at all then go down in the description in the pinned comment and join the discord server where you can ask for help regarding anything that you get stuck with if you are a reverse engineer out there or you're somebody that's just interested in helping fix games etc then do email the email that i put down in the description as well as the pinned comment and it will be up on the screen right now for you all or you can of course join that discord and just message us in there if you like of course if you want to check out any of the other fixes we've done i've linked that down in the description as well as the pinned comment which will include the other the rings fixes that we've looked at as well and with that being said i hope you guys found the video useful and i will see you all in the next fix video in the future Don't let